A new day rises on Ocean's Gate. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here back in your life with a brand new season of Minecraft. We are back. We are back here at Ocean's Glorious Gate, the place you all chose for me a year ago. Uh, exactly a year ago, guys, I posted my very first video. And in it, I showed off five glorious, amazing Minecraft seeds and asked you to help me pick a home, help me pick a place to play. And you did. You chose this one. And over the course of 20 amazing episodes, we built everything you see here, including this giant building I'm standing on, all kinds along this ridge, everything down there, and a little farmhouse up here. We built all over this damn island. And we're back. It's season two. I have a new skin and we have a new version of Minecraft. This is 1.8.9, which means one thing. We can fly. If y'all have not been seeing, if y'all have not been watching Minecraft 1.9, you may not know about this item. Now, I have not been to the end. Uh, I played this in survival, but I just hopped into creative mode for a second just to give myself one of these capes. It's called an Elytra and it literally lets you fly or fall to your death, we are about to find out which one it's gonna be. And I'm gonna take you to the site of a build. That there is the last building I started at the end of last season and I never finished it. I walked away. Well, since I, you have been gone, since I have been gone and not making videos, I've been doing some work on it away from camera. When there wasn't even a Let's Play series to do, we built that building over there. And I'm gonna go show you a little bit of it for episode one of this new season. Let's go guys. Uh, I don't know how to get into the groove and out of the the dramatic. There you go. We're gliding. We are gliding. Let's duck in and out of our old buildings, our old builds. Yes. 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 Oh, how glorious. Turn. Yep, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, light damage. That's all good. So, this is um, the Grand Hall, the big building, the, the most ginormous building on this entire island, and I've built it. I'll tell you guys, I am back because I am inspired. I started my YouTube channel and started that YouTube channel with Minecraft because of a YouTuber. The first one I ever heard of to quit his job because of YouTube. The first one to, to open my eyes to that possibility that you could do this, you could make videos of yourself playing video games for a living. Uh, that guy's B00, a longtime Minecrafter and a guy I've always been a big fan of. And um, years ago, I heard him say he was quitting his real life job to go make Minecraft videos on the internet. And I planted a seed in my head. And one year ago today, I started my channel and I started it with a Let's Play building series in honor of building with B00. Uh, if you guys don't know the guy, great YouTuber, way better than me, and has hundreds and hundreds of episodes. And when I watched those, those were what made me want to do this series, and they're also what scared me into quitting. Uh, this is our big building. I'll let you have a look around. This is what I've been working on while we didn't have a series, while I wasn't posting videos. This is new. I haven't really finished that, but this is the big building. We got bridges. It's done all in the same style. Yeah, watching B-dubs is what made me quit. I watched how good his Building with B-double-O series is, how great the builds were. Not just how great the builds were, but how into it he got, and I felt like I couldn't live up to it. So I walked away, but now I'm back, guys. This, uh, by the way, leads into a wall that leads out to a tower. This tower is quite cool. Uh, it is uh, got a water elevator. I, I don't know how to show you all this. I don't know how to just like get back in the groove of playing. I uh, I don't know how to get out of dramatic intro mode. <laughs> but yeah, we built this tower. Let me see if I can take this bridge across. And then I connected a bridge to one of the last structures. Oh, get lost, you skeleton bastard. That's lucky. So here's the tower. And it looks out over the courtyard of this uh, big building uh, that we've we've thrown together. Yeah, so I'd, I'd watch B-dubs play and I'd think like, man, this guy, like he... He thinks not just about what he's building, but about the people that would be living in his buildings. He tells stories about them, learns how they are, and that scared me. I thought, I can never build like that. I can never get that into the game. But then watching that again recently, I thought, why not? Like, why am I down on myself? Of course I can do it. Um, and that's it. That's what's brought me back 
to this game. So we've actually just traveled along a wall that overlooks this cool courtyard, and we're back in the house. This room I'm still working on. It's either going to be a library or a chapel or something. But it's got, it's one of, this is one of the better buildings I've ever made. I really like it. Um, another little pathway here. You can see right, right out into the courtyard, which we will go take a look at now. Let's check this thing out. Here you go. So this is obviously got to have a lot of work done to it. It's really just bare right now. So we got the big tower, the one that I showed you at the water elevator. This wall runs all the way around this ginormous building. Bridge is coming from that into what will be more buildings there and then the wall just wraps around the whole place it goes through here and uh, this by the way is my sleeping spot it's funny when you're building a giant building you don't make a bedroom in it because it's constantly under construction you just make a really well lit spot and with minecraft 1.9 it feels like the enemies are a lot more dangerous so i uh i have just as soon as it gets slightly dark i just sleep right here i'm just gonna check guys because i wanted to show you this building but I also wanted to set out. Season 1 took place here at Ocean's Gate. I think Season 2 should start somewhere new. So let's see, do I have saplings? I do have some saplings. It's not really a full selection. Uh, we'll take those, and I'll see if I can get more saplings on the way back. And, alright, so let's go. Uh, I guess I have that Elytra, that cape. I could be flying, but I uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to fly back to where I need to go. I'm headed to the last place that I think I left a map. I haven't really spent a lot of time back in the old worlds I built last time around, which are all over here. This is one of the cooler spots up in this area here. I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to give a damn tour of the whole place. This is what we built season one, uh, all these big buildings. This one sticks out the side, and that's the one. It has a bridge going all the way up to that tower out there. So I'm really starting to interconnect the place. And I'm definitely going to come back here in this season. We're going to do some work on Ocean's Gate, but I want to set off for new lands. Something new and exciting. I can't really remember how to get where I want to go. Uh, part of the build here at Ocean's Gate uh, was, uh, the idea was to build a, like a maze of, of bridges and tunnels and things like that that connect every building in the place. And you can see we've traveled without touching the ground through many, many different buildings. Um, yeah, let's head down here. I think, is this where I, no, my map is not here. I'm going to check. I'm going to have a quick peek. No, but there are more saplings, which we will take. Because if we're set, and a bed. If we're setting out for a new island, if we're setting out for a new place to live, I want to bring some of the absolute essentials. Uh, and that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we set out for a new continent. If I remember, it's in this direction, straight out that way. There is a big frozen winter continent uh, and we're going to call that home, and we're going to make the first few builds of this season, this uh, episode 21. I'm calling it 21, not episode 1. This is a definite continuation of the last series, and as much as I'd like to mark a fresh start with an episode 1, I'd also someday love to have 400 episodes. And, whoa, 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 get lost. This is still a scary place. Look how dark everything is. Um, where? where? Where did I put that? Uh... It's down, it's this building. It's the one that's down there. Okay. How do I get down there again? <laughs> Been a long time since I explored this part of the island over here. Oh, hey, freak face. Yeah, uh, monsters are, they just seem more deadly now. And I'm not really wearing armor, so get smashed. Oh, good, your whole team of freaks is here. Yep, get smashed. I have so many arrows, it's stupid. Is he just getting burned alive? He is getting burned alive. Let's wait this one out. Okay. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely harder to fight. There you go. Okay, good. I took some damage there. Damn it. Okay, let's eat. Do I have any food? Oh, this is what happens when you go back to playing Minecraft. You remember the reason that you got frustrated. It's really hard to continue talking while you're dealing with the zombie apocalypse. Uh, so let's go and try and find my map. We're really close to where I used to keep it, I think. I don't really remember, but you can see it's ladders and tunnels and building to building and mazes. Uh, no, it's definitely not in this room. There was nothing too valuable in this place. I never kept anything. I guess there's a diamond there. We're going to save that for later. We still need to build an enchanting table. I don't even have enchanted tools in this place. Uh, I think I'm on the right track. I can barely remember. Um, set out for a new continent and i really guys i want to take this series and my builds to a new level i want to start imagining what the people are like who live in this place 
And building this with that in mind, this is the building I was headed for the whole time. Uh, those of you that haven't watched season one, go check it out. I'll give you a link. It, get, get closed. There we go. Map somewhere here, if I remember. Dies. Ooh, dark oak. Yes, we're definitely going to want that. The only one I don't have is jungle. I'm going to take this glass. We are using a texture pack. Now, looking at this, you may not realize I'm using a texture pack. It's a very subtle one. Uh... It changes the glass and it changes this is not the vanilla texture but it's really damn close so this feels vanilla it feels natural but there's a few really simple changes that just make it stand out there you are there's the map i was looking for uh let's do this and we'll look to the west yes a snowy continent to the west okay cool i think that's all we need let's go screw everything and anything else um actually while we're here and I still have that cape on, which I believe I do, there's a much better way to get off this tower. I still got that cape? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I think I might just use those capes. Uh, I play in in uh, survival, but I might just give myself an unlimited supply of those capes, because look how much fun they make moving around. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Well, I didn't do that good a job. Uh, I have a boat near here. Yes, there you are. Boats have changed in 1.9, and they've added dual wielding, among other amazing things. Uh, how do I do it? F? Yes. There you go. So that map just stays in my hand now, and I can put a sword in the other hand, and I'd still attack with it. See? Dual wield. Dual wield. Pretty cool. And look at the boats. The boats now have oars. Am I picking a horrible time of day to set out? Screw it. You think I'm scared? You think I'm worried? We're going to go in F5 mode here, just because I can't remember how boats work. Oh yeah, they're different. Definitely different. F5's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm getting so dizzy. Okay, we'll go this way. Oh god, the whole thing's dizzy. Let's set a course. Set a course for the open sea. And we'll go off and search a new lands, a new continent. Now I'll need a name for this new continent. Um, I have one in mind, but if you guys have some, feel free to throw them out there. Um, guys, you know what? We are uh, probably about 12 minutes into this episode. So I'm going to take a break. Uh, you get a commercial, and when you come back, I will have crossed this ocean or have stopped somewhere in the middle in the case of a complete disaster. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in a second. Land ho. Guys, I have found it. I have found that frozen continent and just in time for uh, our wake-up call for sunrise. Welcome back. This, of course, our return to Minecraft after quite a long time away. We have just sailed off from Ocean's Gate after touring around everything that's there, and we've set off in search of new lands where we will start a new settlement. Ocean's Gate is that. It is a collection of houses. I'm looking, by the way, for a particularly good spot. I wouldn't mind something a little more forested, and I think I see some of that up ahead. Um, we definitely don't want mountains. I think forested and flat would be ideal because what we've had at Ocean's Gate is incredibly mountainous. I think we found our home. I think this is it. We are going to set up here, and I have a vision. Uh, Ocean's Gate, for me, that was just a collection of houses on a particularly beautiful chunk of randomly generated terrain. But as time goes on, I want to add to that. I want to give some history to the people who live in those places, and uh, I want to build with them in mind. And we're going to start building that way on this new continent. Uh, we're going to set up a new settlement. We're going to build a series of houses that really suit this terrain and the people who we're going to sort of have living here in our imaginations. Uh, let's get this boat. There's a new new boat mechanics, by the way, and I'm terrible with them. Uh, I'm going to crash and break this boat. I'm certain of it. Having oars is pretty cool, and having a second hand is pretty cool, too. Uh, get pulled up. Get pulled up. Ready? shift. Oh, I did it like a boss. Like such a boss. Boats were so bugged for such a long time where you'd get out and then the boat would be here and you'd be way out there. It would just it would just wreck you. Uh, so what we need to do... Wow, I am really unprepared. Uh, let's put on some armor because we are <laughs> in a new, foreign, terrifying land and let's get to work. Let's put away this map. Uh, how do I do that? Like that. There we go. Uh, and we're going to set about 
making ourselves a little bit of a safe haven here. Now, I really didn't bring very many supplies. This is a fresh start, and I mean, that's how a new Minecraft Let's Play series should start, right? Just chopping trees. Chopping trees, collecting resources, and uh, setting out into the unknown. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the world of Minecraft wants me to return or what, but the game keeps crashing, so hopefully I've managed to get everything I need out of this recording session and put together a video for you guys. But we're just getting started. I really don't want to lose any of my valuable resources. So let's throw uh, some of those in here, including the wings, including the map, and how about some of these saplings, just so we got all that stuff stored, stored safely for a later date and what i'm picturing guys is a people a people who live sort of underground their roofs are going to be covered with ferns like this and their houses are going to be really low profile almost like hobbit holes surrounded by trees to protect them from the harsh winds and weather of this new continent um they're i'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking they're going to be a people who has sort of a deep respect for the environment, for the trees. And so when I'm building uh, here, I'm gonna be building with sort of a, a natural feel. I'm not gonna want big, modern, blocky buildings. If there's a building, I want it to be built right into the terrain. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time to uh, get a build done here in episode one, but in episode two, we absolutely will. And we're gonna build in all these little clusters of forest. Yeah, we'll string some bridges across this thing, but up there, another cluster, up there, another cluster, and we'll have these small little villages of, uh, of sort of hobbit holes all around this place. And this continent, we'll work on a name. Guys, why don't you hit me up in the comments if you have an idea, maybe not for the continent, but for, get lost, maybe not for the continent, but for this place where we're gonna start building. Maybe you'll have to see me do some builds here first. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I will dive in to our very first build here in episode two, uh, but episode one has come to an end. Geeks, thank you so much for checking this out, for coming back with me to Ocean's Gate, and for setting sail on a new continent and a new season of Minecraft building. Cannot wait for the next episode.